my research over the last 20 years or so has been focused on the ecology and conservation of polar bears. And part of that uh, has involved uh, radio tracking, satellite tracking of polar bears in the su southern Hudson Bay subpopulation. So my role in this project was to uh, help deploy these new tracking devices on bears in Ontario and um, see where they go. These uh, devices were deployed as part of our uh, ongoing research on polar bears in the southern Hudson Bay subpopulation. Previous been using satellite tracking collars on adult female polar bears. We were all uh, working together to uh, locate and mobilize uh, polar bears near the subpopulation boundary between Western Hudson Bay and Southern Hudson Bay. And then once the bears were safely mobilized, um, my student and I helped to uh, attach these devices to, uh, to bears and um, test their performance. So we first deployed the Buran for uh, tracking devices during our fall field season in 2021. So at the same time, we were collaring adult female polar bears. We collared seven adult females. We also deployed these Buran for tracking devices on uh, 12 additional bears. And we tested several different uh, forms of the tracking devices. So we deployed uh, six of the C tracker units, the larger iridium linked units, uh, three of the Pentagon, um, so-called Pentagon form uh, devices that were attached to uh, the fur through through uh, feral copper ferals, and then three of the so-called tri brush form uh, that use something like a pipe cleaner to get tangled into the bear's fur and, and hold it in place. So we focused on adult male polar bears uh, we got one or two subadults in there as well, but we wanted to focus on adult male polar bears because that's where really the the, the data are uh, are most lacking. Uh, collars have been deployed on polar bears for a long time since the 1980s. Um, their technology has come a long way. They're safe and they're effective and they they provide the most reliable data, but they are limited in their deployment to adult female polar bears. So as part of routine handling, um, bears are fitted with a plastic identification tag. So it's pretty routine to um, to punch a small hole in the in the ear tissue and then to insert a plastic identification tag. Um, the the ear tag uh, satellite transmitters are deployed in a very similar way it takes a it takes a somewhat bigger hole uh, to be punched but then um, that provides basically a platform to uh, attach a small satellite tracking tag so that was part of the study as well so the ear mounted satellite tags have been deployed for a little bit longer so we had about five years of, of data going back to 2016 for those ear mounted satellite uh, tracking devices. We uh, started deploying the Buran fur tracking devices in 2021. So we had um, about one year of data for the fur mounted tags, and about five years of data for the ear mounted uh, trackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.